Want to know what caused all of the layoffs this year? This graph explains all. This graph shows VC or venture capitalist investments uh, since 2006. As you can see, there was steady growth up until about 2020. And then suddenly in 2021, the investment almost doubled. A lot of this was to do with the interest rates going down to zero, basically meaning that they could invest money really, really cheap. So what does this have to do with the job market? Well, when most companies get funding, they really start to hire and staff up. So a lot of companies will start to hire engineers or people who will actually build the product. They'll also hire salespeople and the go-to-market team, which could include marketers, could include salespeople. Uh, but basically, when you receive funding, you need to get the headcount of the company up so you can start to produce more of the product that you're building and so you can start to sell it. Now, a lot of times these companies aren't profitable. So headcount was usually an indicator of how successful the company was. Again, if you wanted to IPO or if you wanted to take the company public, you need to make sure your headcount is there. So that meant hiring lots more people. So I know this well. I was having conversations with lots of people who were running uh, talent at a lot of these startups and a lot of these companies that were getting funding. This is also the reason why recruiters were really in demand because everybody was looking to hire. This meant that finding a good recruiter that could actually hire people was really, really tough. So that really drove up the salaries for a lot of tech recruiters in particular. The other interesting thing we started to see were big tech companies starting to hold on to talent because they didn't want to lose talent that they might need in the future. So a lot of the big companies like Amazon and Meta in particular would actually hire people and they really didn't even have a need for them, but they just wanted to make sure that they were on the payroll. So if they, for whatever reason, needed to hire that person in the future, they already had them on the payroll and they weren't working at one of these startups. This is why the domino started to fall so quick. As soon as the interest rates went up, a lot of these startups that had received investment were told by their investors that they needed to make the money last as long as possible. One of the easiest ways to do that is just to lay people off. Obviously, we saw the same thing with a lot of the big tech companies like Amazon and Meta. Again, they let go of almost everybody that they hired. When the market wasn't looking as hot as they thought it was going to be, they said, you know what, we don't actually need a lot of these employees. Let's let them go. Now, if you look back at that graph, you see that 2022 was still actually uh, a record-breaking year if it wasn't for 2021. So there was still a lot of money uh, at the early part of 2022. But as we look at 2023, those numbers have drastically gone down by about 50%. In 2023, the VC funding is down by about 50%. We are unlikely to see another year like 2021. I still think that we will see growth years ahead, obviously, because the market is cyclical. But I don't think we're going to see a year like 2021 for a long, long time. This is why the salaries were going up. This is what drove the Great Resignation. And this is what made the 2021 through 2022 such crazy years for everybody who was employed. And it also made it really, really hard when those layoffs did start. It made the job market a lot tougher than it needed to be.